Hello, welcome. In this video, I am introducing the steps to follow and tools that you can use when trying to apply CC licenses to your work. Before applying any license to a work, there are important considerations. First of all, the licenses and public domain label once applied cannot be revoked. But you can offer the work under another license if you need to change it. You are also free to remove the licensed copies from the internet. Another important thing is that before applying any CC license, you must ensure that you are the copyright holder over the work. Sometimes at workplace, all your creations have the employer as copyright holder. The CC licenses indicate permissions on allowing adaptation and commercial usages. Make sure your work allows both adaptation and commercial usages if you want it to be incorporated into Wikipedia. And if you want your work to offer the maximum freedom level against copyright protection, you should think about using the public domain dedication tool CC0. I have devised a workflow to guide your action on selecting CC licenses. You can be dealing with one single work or multiple works. You can be thinking of licensing your own work or using other people's works. This workflow considers all these scenarios and I will explain each one now. No matter if it is your own work or you made some adaption to some other people's works, you will probably want a proper CC license to attribute yourself as a creator or adapter. To choose a CC license, you have two tools to help with your decision. The first one is the CC license chooser, which is available online in the given URL on the screen. This is a very convenient tool to save your mental effort to decide on which license to apply. You only need to answer two multiple choices questions, and the license is automatically selected for you. Depending on the media type of your work and where to share the work, you are also given the option of having embedded codes for a website and the metadata for machine-readable purpose. If you want to have higher resolution license icons and logos, visit the download page of Creative Commons website that you see here on the screen. Another method to choose a license is you mentally judge it on your own. One useful tool in this approach is the flowchart called Which Creative Commons License is Right for Me by CC Australia. You start with the green question box asking, Am I okay with other people copying and distributing my content without asking permission every time? If no, you need all rights reserved to copyright. If yes, you continue to ask if you are okay with other people changing or adapting your content, and if you are okay with others making money out of using your content. These questions and your answers to them help with the final decision. In this flowchart, the pink boxes are related to adaptations, and the blue boxes are related to commercial purposes, and the purple boxes are final decisions on licenses choices. If you are only using other people's work without any adaptation, and you only want to attribute to creators properly, you can follow the tassel approach. In the attribution statement of Tussle approach, you accurately quote the title of the work, which is T, the author of the work, which is A, provide the URL to the work, which is S, state the license of the work and the URL to the license, which is L. In fact, the Tussle approach is a good practice of attributing creators, no matter it is for others, 
work or your own work. Here is an example of using the tussle approach to attribute a photo that I took at Shugakui Imperial Villa in Kyoto City of Japan. As you see, it begins with the title of the work hyperlinked to the source, followed by the author's name and the name of the license hyperlinked to the source of the license where detail is explained about the license. Now let's move to the license choice of multiple works. If you are the owner of the whole collection, you are free to choose how to license your works. However, if it involves other people's works, you must see if it involves adaptions or not from you. If it does not, such as a compilation of works of others, and your only contribution is to compile them in one collection, you can properly attribute each creator in individual material in the collection and may choose a license for the whole collection. However, this does not change the license applicable to the original independent materials in the collection. You can use the collector's license chart to decide on the license of the collection. But when you adapted works in the collection, you need to pay attention to the compatibility among licenses. Two tools, Remixer's License Chart and Adapter's License Chart, are convenient to aid your judgment of license compatibility and the choices. The Remixer's License Chart shows you the compatibility between licenses so that you can understand when mixing different works into one adaption work, what is the acceptable mix? The adapter's license chart shows you what license is available to you based on the licenses of original works that your work is based on. To give you an example on how to use these three charts, to decide on licenses, I have created an album called the Japan Remix on Flickr. The attribution statement can be found at the bottom of each image of the collection. The first image is a remix of two existing works in the public domain by two other authors. And I put it under the license of CC by SA. Like the first image in the collection, the second one is also a remix by me based on two public domain images from other two authors and I license it under CCBYSA. The third photo is under the public domain, while the fourth one is licensed under CCBY. Because the first two photos in the album are adaptations of other people's works, I will use the remixer's license chart to check the compatibility of the, this work's uh, licenses. It shows that these three photos have compatibility in their licenses that allow them be remixed together. I also needed to decide on the license type of my album to share with the public. I will use the adapter's license chart. It shows that even though I have much wider choices when dealing with the four public domain original works and one CC BY licensed work, the two BYSA works restricted my license choice to only BYSA for my whole album. Therefore, I have applied the BYSA license to the album of Japan Remix. This is the end of the video. I hope through it you have known better about the workflow, the
the practical tools and important considerations when applying CC licenses. Thank you for watching.